today we are making cauliflower. It's going to be cauliflower with the breadcrumbs. Very, very tasty and delicious. It's going to be amazing. And if you guys like my video, don't forget to subscribe and give me a like. And see you soon. So guys, we are making cauliflower now. So what do we need to do? This is your cauliflower. You wash the cauliflower. And now we're going to cut a big pieces. We are going to boil it. So how do I do? Uh, so this is your part, the end. So what we have to do, I'm going to cut like a big pieces, chunks, right? Like yeah. that, see? Like this pieces, so it's washed. So I'm going to put in the pot with the water. The water has to cover your cauliflower. And we're going to boil until it's ready. How do you know if it's ready? When you put your fork and it's soft, but not too soft, just kind of a little bit like all bent. Okay? So, we need to cut, see big pieces like this. And when it's a bigger piece, it's even better. Okay, so I like to cut this kind of big piece. So like this. Okay. Do we cut these pieces? Now we're going to put on the stove. Guys, I put the cauliflower in the water, and now we're going to boil. Okay. So for the meantime, you can cover. So I'm going to put like approximately one tablespoon of um, salt in the cauliflower in the water. Okay. So it has to be cooked. How do you know if it's cooked? If you put your fork through the cauliflower and it has to go through easily, okay? So we are going to cook. So as I said, we are going to make cauliflower with the breadcrumbs. So we need one cup of, um, you saw the cauliflower was in a big one, it was like medium size. So one cup of flour, one cup of um, breadcrumbs, this is the breadcrumbs with the parsley, romano cheese. I use that kind of um, uh, breadcrumbs. I can show which one. So that's the breadcrumbs I use. It says breadcrumbs, Italian flavored with Italian romano cheese, herbs, and spices. And the reason I'm using this um, particular breadcrumbs because they have a little bit of romano cheese. You can, if you don't have this particular breadcrumbs, you can use a regular breadcrumbs and just put a little bit of like two tablespoons of um, Romano cheese or you can put Parmesan cheese that will, and a little bit of dry parsley you can put in your breadcrumbs so they will give amazing flavors, okay? Now, so what else do we do? So this is a preparation. Now we have to, um, we need like three eggs for medium size of um, Cauliflower, three eggs. So we crumb the eggs, okay? Crack the eggs. And we're going to mix your eggs with some, um, with a little bit. I add, I always like to add this one, the spice, it's a Montreal chicken. It has some herbs and salt and black pepper. And if you don't have that, it's fine. You can just put a little bit of salt, black pepper, and what I'm using, I'm using a little bit of basil. You can put basil, you can put a little bit of oregano, any herbs you like. So I put like one teaspoon of basil, okay? And one teaspoon of this Montreal chicken. It's really great, you know, it gives very really nice flavor. But as I said, if you don't have those particular herbs, you can just add one teaspoon of each herbs you like to use. Okay, so what do I do now? I just um, mix your herbs with them eggs. So we have to wait until it will cool down a little bit 
and then we'll start um, taking um, cauliflower with the flour, eggs, and the breadcrumbs. And I'm going to show you in a second. So what we're doing, we're taking cauliflower, okay? We are going to do, put all over like in the flour, okay? And then we take it in the eggs, just trying, okay, like this, okay? And then it has to go to your breadcrumbs. Okay, so that one is ready. Next, the same way. We do flour, okay. We do flour. And eggs. and the uh, breadcrumbs. Beautiful. Like this, same things you do with the rest of them. So we are going to heat up the pan, okay, on medium high. That's how it should look like. And we are going to put, the pan has to be hot, and then we have to put olive oil. I'm going to use half cup of olive oil. We're going to put on the pan. It's not going to be much because you're going to put your cauliflower and that's perfect. So, now, so we're going to heat up the oil. Okay guys, while I'm waiting for my oil to be hot, I'm going to take my favorite tea with the mint. Just a little bit. One sip. So good. Delicious. Okay, now it's done. We're taking cauliflower. We're doing it on the pan. See the oil? It's hot. So you remember how we did the cauliflower. Flour, eggs, and the um, breadcrumbs. Okay. I think we have some spot. This is a little small little pieces. I'm going to put them too. I'm going to put them inside. It's all, all good. Okay, perfect. Now, what you do, you have to look. See, it's almost like, don't wait for too long. See, it's kind of like golden brown. So we have to flip, keep flipping, right? See, you don't want it to get burned. In case if you see that it's not enough of olive oil, you can add more. As much as you see, like, you know, it requires for you to fry the cauliflower. But medium high, not low. You flip. You flip in. You know what? I would add a little bit more of olive oil. See, like I want to show you guys, see, kind of it's getting dry, so you don't want it to dry. Just a little bit, drizzle a little bit here, a little bit there. Because cauliflower sometimes takes, um, requires a little bit more of olive oil. So it's almost 
frustrating, but I want to mention something. So if you feel like you don't want to burn your cauliflower, if you feel uh, that it's getting burned, so just reduce the heat, okay? So it's done. I want you to see how it looks like and I will show you in a second, okay? It's very delicate, so you have to keep looking, not to burn it. How beautiful it is, look. It's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so now we're going to put, and I will show it in a second. Look how gorgeous it is. And it's extremely tasty. You can uh, serve it as a snack, and the kids love it, or you can serve it as a side dish for any, uh, any protein you eat. Okay, so look how beautiful. And it smells amazing. It smells just incredible. Hey guys, our penny flower is ready. I want you to see how beautiful it is, please. The color it's golden brown beautiful color it smells amazing and now it's time to try let me see i will take this piece it looks like a small piece let's see him oh it's so beautiful let's see So tasty. It's very crunchy, it's soft inside, and it's pretty crunchy outside. Amazing. And you can serve it as a side dish with any protein you eat, or just snack, or you can do the same actually things with the broccoli. You can try it. It's, it's beautiful. And I want to say, guys, thank you so much for watching me. And if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and give me a like. And I will see you next time on my cooking shows.